What is up, everybody? It's officially beanie season again. Kinda. I don't know, actually. It's supposed to get warm for the rest of this week, but whatever. It's cold right now. My modern baseball beanie was asking to be worn, even though modern baseball is, like, on a hiatus right now. But anyway, uh, I was, uh, gonna make this live stream, just hang out, chat it up. I'm bored. There's nothing going on. And I figured I'd show you guys this, because I've had this for months now. I bought it a long time ago, and I was going to put it on the Volvo, and I'm still intending to, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been spending money on other parts of the Volvo. I haven't had the money to order an adapter, because the only company who makes an adapter for the hub on a Volvo is Momo. And of course, it's not cheap. It's like 100 bucks. So, But yeah, as you guys are coming in, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And uh, we can talk about this steering wheel here in a little bit. Nice camera? It's my phone. Is it better than usual? So also, speaking of cameras, I'm going to try... Uh, I'm shooting a video... I'm not sure, actually. Probably Wednesday... Oh, uh, hold on. I gotta get on my PC. Silas, you were indeed first. Um, but I think I'm gonna give it a shot shooting the whole video with the GoPro. And just try it out. Uh, we're gonna be doing an exhaust on the Volvo. Would you rip a Ford Ranger? I already have. Uh, go back and watch the video where Ross bought the Danger Ranger originally. First thing we did was take it out and drift it because it was snowing. Actually, it had been snowing. There was still like 14 inches of snow on the ground. It's a miracle that thing got out of the driveway in the first place. But... You use your phone for most of the videos. I don't. Would you rather get hit by a Porsche or a Mustang? Porsche, I'd say, because uh, typically they have a little bit more money. Alright, uh, no, I don't use my phone for most videos. Most videos are shot with this. Oh, I see now. Most videos are shot with a Canon Rebel T5i. Now, a lot of people complain about the videos always being out of focus and shaky. Uh, gimbals for DSLRs, extremely expensive. And, um,. This is a T6i, so it's not. Gotta go back to bed. Damn job. Ah, oh, dude, I feel you. You have a lot rougher of a job than I do, but what up, Ryan? But yeah, so uh, this is just like a base DSLR, so it only has nine autofocus points, and that's why it doesn't focus very quickly. I would like to get a 7D Mark II at some point. It's got like 27 autofocus points. They do really, really well. But uh, for now, we're stuck the T5i, which shoots really, really nice quality footage when you get it to. But for the most part, it's kind of a pain. But yeah, the GoPro is a cool option. These cameras are actually pretty impressive for the pricing. 150 bucks out the door is not bad at all but yeah so uh oh yeah the blue e30 out at uh by the idaho center or in the idaho center parking lot right that was a good time hopefully i'll have a couple choices of cars to bring out for some snow skids this winter that's what's kind of nice about idaho is the cops are pretty chill about it if you're in a big open parking lot um, sometimes they'll come and tell you to leave, but most of the time you're not hurting anything, so they're not too worried about it. So I'm going to have the Volvo hopefully road legal for winter time, because that could be some good times. But yeah, so, this is the steering wheel I bought for the Volvo, because Volvo steering wheels are absolutely massive. It's like driving a school bus, basically. And, um... I don't have money to buy a Momo wheel. I don't even really have money to buy an energy wheel. Well, okay, here's the thing. Before I go get a Grip Royal. Well, I mean, eventually I'd like to. But, 
Um, it's not that I can't afford an energy, it's I can't afford the idea of spending a hundred dollars on a steering wheel that kind of, you know, bends a lot. Hell yeah, Christian. You drive a Turbo NB, right? You guys need real drift cars. I cringe email so hard from your junkyard builds. Send us some money, we'll build a real one, dude. How come there aren't more people watching? Yeah, that's a good question. 13C Volvo 745. Uh, would you ever get a junker drift car? I have one. Mustang with a V6 V8. Eh, I don't know. Maybe a Fox body if it was really cheap. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Cringe email. You gotta start somewhere. I can't just suddenly, you know, have a nice drift car. But I'm trying. So anyway, um, this wheel is a quality Italian made steering wheel. The biggest downside that I can think of from messing with it is uh, it's really heavy and it's used. But they're extremely good quality and they're made for boats. And uh, they're old. This one I think is from the 70s. So it's got, you know, like 40 years worth of people just screwing around with it but uh, I paid $35 for it shipped and delivered everything and uh, it's like it's sturdy it's not going to uh, bend just ball out with a loan hell no you're out of your mind if I'm balling out with a loan it's to buy an FD but anyway uh, the Volvo here hopefully Fairly soon we'll be getting some real suspension, courtesy of Capel Hanky Performance and my wallet. But, uh, so anyway, yeah, really nice steering wheels, and just go on eBay, type in Dino steering wheel, it's like D-I-N-O, just like the Ferrari Dinos, and, uh, you can get them for dirt, and they have some weird, like, funky-ass looking ones, but this one, I mean, it's just straightforward. It's dirty as hell, and I'm gonna paint it or something, just cause... You know, tan doesn't really fight the whole Volvo is a boring car stereotype very well. Also, it's kind of stupid to look at. But, we, uh, we will probably do a video or something on what I do with this. And, uh, I don't know. You guys should make some, uh, suggestions for what color I should do with it. I kind of want to do the metal part, like, gloss black, and then put Curse Forever because, you know, got to brand it up. Purple Sparkle, I thought about just to match my intercooler piping, but I don't know. Seems like more work than it's going to be worth for the likeliness of it just kind of rubbing off as I use it. Paint it mint, give it away. You're right. I'll get on that. Guys, hit that like button if you haven't yet. We got 30 people watching, 18 thumbs ups. While well, I do appreciate the 18, Let's see if we can balance that out and match it with the amount of people watching and get some uh, people we've never met in here before. Why don't you make a Twitter? I have Twitter. It's the same as all my other things, BigB1011. And it's just like uh, stupid jokes on Twitter all the time. Hey, Not Mono is here. Alright, everything is right in the world. Paint it in the blood of your enemies. That's deep, dude. But yeah, I like this thing, and I, uh, I actually drove Laker, or Junk Miata on YouTube, formerly Laker Bloods, formerly Rice and Beards. Uh, he was up yesterday, and I took the Volvo out for a drive, and after having driven the, Vol or the Miata for so long, got in the Volvo and I was like damn this steering wheel is absolutely ridiculous I also forgot how slow the Miata is because having that you know 115 horsepower versus mega squirt and 18 pounds of boost difference it's a little bit shocking once you kinda gas it a little bit but yeah it's fun I miss driving it so I really wanna really want to get it situated
speaking of things relating to Ryan getting lost, uh, he sent me a 90-93 tombstone, which is worth quite a bit of money, and he just gave it to me. And uh, I went to get it last night because I bought a skosh mount to plop my phone on for doing deliveries for addresses and stuff. And uh, it's not where I put it anymore, and I'm pretty pissed off, but... I was searching all over the garage, as you guys know, the garage is not an easy thing to look through in my household, but, how many miles are on the Miata? 215,000. So you will fab your exhaust on the Volvo, yep, I'm, me and Austin are going to weld it together, and, uh, come to Import Alliance, where is Import Alliance? Bowling Green, Kentucky. That's yeah, a little bit of a cruise there. Not likely. Just prop my phone up in the little column in the middle. Yeah, it's, see, I usually, I have cup holders there, and I have to take people drinks, so I usually uh, leave that for drinks. But, uh, so I put the skosh mount on the the plastic whatever around the gauge cluster rear bumper cut on the Miata I wasn't into it and then I saw Josh's new Miata and I kinda dig it so I don't know I'd have to think about it I don't really want to do it is the thing cause I know I'd fuck it up not that my bumper is in good condition cause it definitely isn't but you know 120,000 with a blown motor Damn, dude, you blew the motor up? Fab a hard top on the Miata. Yeah. My V230F Plus T has severe piston slap or rod knock. What should I do to fix it? You know what it is. Uh, there's not really a good way to go about that without pulling the engine. You could lift it up and pull the oil pan and try and look at the rod bearings, but, uh, you know... It's kind of a pain, and at that point, you have the engine mounts undone. You might as well just undo the transmission mount and the drive shaft and pull it out. When you come into Colorado, that's a good question. Can you show him go over the steering wheel again? Yeah, here, one second. deliver more than 10 pizzas at one time. I don't deliver pizza. I didn't want my car smelling like pizza all the time. That would make me nauseous after a while. <laughs> Are aftermarket steering wheels reliable or is it just for looks? Okay, so in the instance of most like Honda and Stan's kids, it's uh, just for looks. Uh, the reason I want one is because the Volvo steering wheel is just massive and throwing it around, drifting, is kind of a pain. But uh, yeah, so I'll go over this again. So this is just a Dino boat wheel, but I already confirmed that it does have the same six bolt pattern as like your Momo and energy hubs and everything like that. Uh, not sacrificing an airbag in the Volvo, it doesn't have one. If I put an aftermarket wheel on the Miata, yes, I'd be taking the airbag out. But the Volvo already didn't have one, so it's not any less safe. But, um, so yeah, this one I bought for 30 or 35 bucks, I don't remember. Shipped, and it's really heavy, but aside from that, it's super, super sturdy. I'm pretty sure I could stand on this, jump on it, it's not going to have any issues. Um, 
and the size is really nice. It's not overbearing like my Volvo wheel is. Because after driving the Skyline and drifting the Skyline, uh, I was like, eh, what's with, you know, $280 wheels and then Jake put the Alcantara Momo wheel in the Skyline and I was sliding it the other night and I was like, okay, well, I mean, I kind of get it now. Thing is dope. Do, 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 do. Should I do passenger airbag delete? On what? Would you have them remake Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift or Initial D? Probably Fast and Furious because I'm not as in love with those movies as everyone else is. But I do like Initial D. Before I turbo it, it didn't have the Knox lab. So I'm going to start a new oil cam, timing belt, oil feed, return, Knox. So I don't know what it could be. Uh, what cam did you put in it? Because if you put in a cam and you made an interference and you got the uh, timing off by a tooth or two, that could be the valves hitting the top of the pistons. What up, G? I am a girl. Spiritually. It's 2017. You can't just ask that. Would appreciate a mid-engine mounted Miata. Cute. I don't know. If you could get a budget right-hand drive car, what would you get? Probably like a Nissan Sephiro or a Alteza or something. Can you get a new car soon? What do you think about... Or a Soarer. 328 ISC36 or something like an SC300. I wouldn't do an SC300 over a 328. Uh, if you could get a Soarer, like uh, 1JZ, then go for that. Well, I don't think Colton screwed you. I think it's just, uh, I'm not sure if the T-cam, let's look. You kind of have to be careful depending on what cam you put in, because allegedly Ross is turbo cam now, the, uh, the, I don't even remember what the letter code for the cam is on uh, on IPD's turbo cam, but uh, apparently his is an interference engine now. Get a generic eBay fits all car for your first car. I see, but that doesn't really teach you anything. That teaches you to put a five dollar hub adapter and a twenty five dollar steering wheel on your car and then crash it when you think you're cool. I think cars that are hard to get parts for are better for a first car if you intend to learn to work on cars. I do a beat up skyline like the one you drifted. I'm sure you can find one for like 8,000. Well, Jake's was. I actually probably doesn't want me to tell you. Oh, you can look at it in the video. It was 9,000. Um, I wouldn't spend eight grand on a car you intend to beat the shit out of, really. Like you can. Eh. Like Jake drifts it. And he lets me drift it, but we're not unreasonable about it. We're doing it in like big parking lots and stuff. Not on a track, because as you guys saw with my first drift event, put it in the wall. So I wouldn't go spend eight or nine grand on a car to just beat the hell out of.
How many Volvos do you and Ross have total? Have you sold any after you bought your big white turbo one? Yeah, I only own the 740 at the moment. Ross has five. Have you drove the Volvo since the accident? Yes, I drove it yesterday. Yeah, 9,000 is a lot for a first drift car. 1,000 is a lot for a first drift car. That's why I really like Volvos, just because, uh, you know, they're really, really cheap, and it's really hard to break them. Like you saw, mine didn't get a dent or a scratch on the fender. The bumper took all of that hit. It even bent the frame, and the fender's fine. Do you guys have any 240 Volvos? Yeah, Ross has two of them. Putting an LS in one. My friend blew up his 940 last week. That's impressive. How much for an emoji sticker? Emoji of what? Peace out, dude. Thanks for watching. Two thousand Toyota Celica. Check on eBay for like a used steering wheel. You might be able to. Uh, Find a uh, like one off a wreck car or something that's in really good shape. Do you currently own any front wheel drive cars? Yes, my rabbit. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't do that emoji. I don't do printed stuff like I do occasionally, but I don't do custom printed stuff anymore. It's too much of a hassle. some good ways to get cheap name brand parts for your car if your community isn't into cars uh, I don't know what you mean cheap name brand parts like become a distributor of them then you can buy them at wholesale but you usually have to buy a lot of them well you mine has a mark to go with a VR VR6 swap yeah I like VRs but I wasn't wasn't on my radar for the Mark 1. I. I just really, really love 16 valves, and since I got my first Volkswagen, because my first car was a Mark 2, um, I've always wanted a 16 valve because I rode in a GTI that had a pretty heavily modified NA 16 valve that made over 200 wheel horsepower, and from that point on, I've wanted one. So, finally got one. Do you smoke weed or only tires? Only tires. Mazda B545 coming in clutch with the donations. Even unemployed. What a G. Will the diff get low max angle? Can you have a perfect budget drift car? Any of your cars got subs? I mean, the Miata has a 10 inch, but it's it was there when I got it, and it's pretty garbage. I mean, there's not really a need to have expensive stuff when you're starting out, but that's just, if you have the money for it, go for it. Are AE86 Corollas actually nice cars, or are they just a meme? Uh, here's the thing. They are way overhyped for what they are. They're fun to drive, yes, but the prices people want for them and the price people pay for them is absolutely ridiculous. So, I want an 8086, as you guys know, I almost bought one not too long ago, but uh, 
Yeah, I won't pay the stupid, stupid numbers people are asking for them. Just because, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, you've got this legendary race car, yeah, but you still paid four grand or more for a 110 horsepower Toyota Corolla. Did your buddy sell his? Yes, he doesn't have it anymore. Would I get an AE72 Corolla? Eh, probably not. <laughs> Why do you think four grand is a lot? Because it is a lot for a 115 horsepower Toyota Corolla. Would an asking price of 3k with a 1.8 be ridiculous with minor rust on it? Uh, what 1.8? An 86 or a Miata? Would you rather meet the car throttle guys or MCM guys? MCM guys. I hate every car but Primus. Yeah, Les Claypool's a pretty cool guy. I don't know what AE86 came with a 1.8, but what car would you trade your Miata for without being a stupid, unreal offer? I don't know. I was thinking about putting it up for trade just to see if I got an offer for anything cool. But, I don't know. Ontario Miata sells for over 5k. I mean with conversion rates that's about the same as what they sell for here. People ask for stupid amounts of money for Miatas where I live. Like mine, as soon as I brought it back someone offered me 2200 bucks for it. 1.8 liter 3TC engine. I don't know. I don't know much about Toyota engines. Okay. Where's Ross? At home. Houston has tons of cheap cars now after her the, the hurricane. Yeah, that's true. Did my neighbor finish his Honda? Yes, but he also and uh, he also does not. Whoa. Sorry, he also does not live across the street from me anymore. But I am still in contact with him. I gotta go catch a ride in that thing because it's awesome. How do you feel about Daihatsu Miras? Well, I mean, Mighty Karmas made me want one.
What's the best burger place in Idaho, in my opinion? Probably Big Judd's. It was on Man vs. Food, actually. Huh. There's an FD for sale in Houston for 13 grand and it says it has three cylinders. That's a lot of cylinders for an RX-7. Here's another FD down there with a ton of veil side parts on it. I don't know, the, that is a lot of miles for an FD, 135,000, that engine hasn't been rebuilt, it's probably going to need rebuilt, I'll deliver that FD to you, no dude, if I'm going to buy one from Houston, I got to go down there, because I got a lot of friends down there, you need to move to a different state, no, Done that a couple times, pretty over it. If you ever come down here, you can take my car. You must take first spin. Hell yeah, that'd be dope. Can you please make some moves? Yeah, dude. I'll make tons of moves. I just bought a house with a pool. I'm gonna move to Florida. Gonna slam some stuff on Tarmax and daily it. It's the craziest single overhead cam build you've ever seen. I have a friend who's working on a pretty ridiculous one right now. His name's Jason Kendall, and uh, he's shooting for 400 horsepower. And it's uh, mm -hmm. F22. the Turbo Challenge Civic. No idea. <coughs> oh yeah, that was one of the other sad things I was going to announce in that uh, that live stream I did where I told you guys I was shopping for an FD. Uh, speaking of that, actually I'll get into that in a second, but one thing I've been wanting to do for quite some time, and I've talked about it on live streams before, I wanted to do a giveaway, like I wanted to build a drift car and give it away, but it wasn't going to be for my benefit, it was going to be to raise money for uh, St. Baldrick's, it's a company that funds research for cures of childhood cancer and uh, stuff like that, and September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, so I was hoping we could have it done by then, or even maybe started by then, but it's not exactly pertinent at this point not like kids stop having cancer in October but uh, if you guys have any ideas on a sponsor that might be down with that I've talked to a couple that were willing but not uh, not to the extent they needed to be uh, most recently I reached out to Nameless Performance and they haven't said anything back to me as of yet so if you guys got any hookups at Nameless <laughs> shoot them a message for me but yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to, we talked about doing an S13 or an E36. I want to do an E36 because a lot of the parts, uh, I'm sure FCP Euro would be down to help out with. Maybe. I haven't posted a video where they got any mention for quite some time. Just because we haven't done anything with the uh, Rabbit in a while. But I finally have all the parts for that. I need to go get... Uh, I'm actually going to have O'Reilly bring in a... Uh, 
new hone tool because I don't want to use the used one. And they said they could bring in a new one and loan it to me and keep it as a loaner. Do you have a code for FCP or anything? I don't. They didn't want to do anything like that at the moment. I actually have planned on autocrossing the Miata at some point. Maybe next summer. Should I boost my $300 Integra? Yes. Where's my hair? It's under my hat. That's where hair usually is when you wear a hat. Where could I send you a great Craigslist ad? CurseForeverHelp at gmail.com yeah, so I wanted to do an E36 or an S13, probably an E36 just because of ease of access and it would cost a whole lot less. I mean, for the cost of building a nice S13 and purchasing one, we could buy a beat to hell like 318 and probably put like a junkyard 5.3 in it for less money, honestly. So that was the idea. I still really want to do it regardless of it being... Uh, almost no longer September but it's whatever is my PO box still up yes it's uh, in the description of all the videos PO box 2041 141 North Palmetto Avenue Eagle Idaho 83616 what's a cool video coming up any Ross's cars uh, yeah we got the sand rail project and uh, gonna be doing some stuff with the LS swap here pretty soon uh, next Craigslist video. Don't know what's the temperature. Let's see. It's not too bad out tonight. Fifty five right now. Last night it got down to like forty two which kind of sucked because I accidentally left my window open. Here's a really clean FD for 12 in Phoenix, but it's auto. I'll be in Phoenix, so I mean, if that could work out where I could find a decent one. I should check all the cities I'll be touring, actually. 2004 STI rear-wheel drive converted. That's interesting. 1991 Nissan Skyline GTST sedan. 13.5. Eh, you're out of your mind. I'm on Craigslist. Almost done dropping a 5.3 into a Porsche 944. Want to do a review? Yes, actually. And I'm going to need to talk to you for reasons that don't need to be discussed right now. But. You know, we'll figure that out later. Oh, this one's automatic too. Damn it. Seventh gen Celica GTS 6 speed looks clean for 1500. Yeah, that's not a bad price if it's actually functioning. 1992 Toyota Aristo. That's kind of cool. Let's see, where am I going to be? Salt Lake City. Vegas. Los Angeles. And Phoenix. I can't believe you took shots at Haggard about their new house. I can't believe you thought that was shots at Haggard and not just a joke. People are a little too critical of the things I say. You know who isn't? Uh, the people from Haggard Garage. Someone domain started, or domain squatted lasvegas.craigslist.org. It takes you to some like, like realty company. What is the actual Craigslist now? Lasvegas.craigslist.org. Huh. All right. Maybe I was typing it wrong, and I did it twice. 
You should import a right-hand drive Miata. What is the benefit of a right-hand drive Miata? There isn't one. I don't want one. Other than it's right-hand drive, people go, whoa, that's right-hand drive. That's cool. I mean, admittedly, that's really the only reason I want the FD right-hand drive, but, like, it's a little bit cooler than a Miata. And also, you can get JDM ones for cheaper than USDM ones, so there is kind of that. FD3S single turbo conversion. Yeah, that's a lot of miles. Oh no. They got rid of the pop ups and put some ricey ass. Have I thought about a collab with Haggard? Yeah, we have. Arranged for that to happen a couple times, and then it keeps not happening. First time was because I was in Las Vegas when they were here. And the second time was because they had a drift event to get all their cars ready for, so they didn't have time to stop. Okay, hold on. Peace out, man. Thanks for watching. You and Haggard should do a vid of slamming a Volvo on Tarmax. That would be entertaining. I actually think they would look kind of dope on my Volvo. I really want the wheels that Luca has on his Volvo. Would you ever drive a 5-speed Cherokee? If so, turbo or supercharged? Supercharged, 4 liter. That would be interesting. That would be kind of cool. Why not FC? I don't know. I'm just uh, not big on the FC. It's not that I dislike it, but the FD to me has just always been a car that when I've seen one, they get really excited and I've wanted one for a while. So if an opportunity arises, I would really prefer an FD. Well, I mean, I wouldn't buy an FC. It's it's not search for an RX-7, it's search for an FD specifically. What's going to be going on with the rabbit? I missed a few videos to school. Uh, 16 valve swap, mega squirt. I might do micro squirt. I've been looking into that a little bit more, and it's a little bit cheaper, which is pretty sweet. Um... Would you buy an engine swapped FD? That's interesting that you ask, because I'm looking at one with an LS2 in it. It doesn't run, though. I appreciate it. I'm pretty excited for the 16 valve to get done, but I'm also a little nervous to build an engine. Because, you know, never done it before. I'm really paranoid I'm going to mess it up be honest with you that's kind of one of the reasons it hasn't been done yet 7m gte swapped fd who did that i gotta say it's interesting you ever find pistons for the 16 valve yeah they're in a box over there that guy sold me a whole set the all edges are really good and uh... 
he sold to me for 40 bucks. With rods on him, but uh, probably not going to use the rods. Mm -hmm. BR6 the rabbit? Nah. S2K is the most overrated car for the price. I wouldn't know. I want to drive one. Jason said I could drive his. I could do a review of it a while ago. Um, that hasn't happened yet. We just haven't really talked about it since then. But I do want to drive it. I know I definitely have more leg room in the Miata, which is interesting. I would have expected the newer car to have a little bit more wiggle room, but it's actually not the case. Nineteen ninety seven Mazda RX seven type RS British Columbia Ryan, I can't have this one. It's not twenty five years old. The substantially similar rule doesn't work because it's right hand drive, unfortunately. So that's kind of a bummer. <coughs> Seventy two thousand is kind of up there for a Japanese one too, actually. Ninety one JDM FD. Pretty sure the FD did not start till ninety two. We didn't have them till ninety three. Some cheap sixteen and seventeen inch rims for a two forty wagon. Dude, Volvo Hydras are actually pretty sweet. The ones that Ross has on the wagon, those are sixteens. They're not bad looking, and I, well, he doesn't have three sets anymore because he sold that one 740, but, uh, other than that, you know, it's kind of open-ended. I'm not great on, uh, oh. wheel info. What up? I just got a Mugen CRX in, what was Mugen. Oh, yeah, Mugen. <laughs> Sorry. You guys trying to sell us that? Probably not. It's Ross. Okay. You're not going to even say hi to the live stream? You piece of shit. What's happening? Look, Brock's here. <laughs> Bridge ported? I mean... I still got a Prelude SI. What are you getting these stupid cars for? Because it's fun to mess with them. Forza 5 or Horizon 3? 5. Yeah. Yeah. It is Brock. You're correct. RX7 FD. In Las Vegas, there was an FD for sale that was a USDM car, but he had it swapped to right hand drive. I was like, what a gargantuan waste of money, to be honest. Like, that's cool, but also, who has the money for that? Peace out, dude. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for the $2. 1993 Mazda RX-7 with Veilside body kit. $50,000. I've also heard the Veilside kits uh, were not anywhere close to as good as the ones in the movie in real life. And they were, like, terrible to look at. Caprice? Eh, yeah, maybe. 1999 Nissan Skyline R34 GTT. Not legal. Sorry. No matter what you say, no matter what the claim is, your loophole and blah blah blah, it's not legal.
registered as Florida. Huh. Weird. I don't know why people keep doing this. Eventually, they'll get caught. But, yeah, that's what it is. FDRX7, $3,000. Oh, rolling chassis. I'm like, sign me up. El Camino or Ranchero? Ranchero. Specifically, well, either the Falcon body ones or like a 57 with the big Fairlane wings on the back. There's quite a few FDs in Phoenix. What's the best region on Craigslist to look for street cars rally ready? God, I don't, I don't even know what you mean. Suzuki Cappuccino. I don't think I would fit in that very comfortably. Audi A4 Quattros are hella cheap and all wheel drive. Yep, you got a good point actually. Toyota Corolla. I'm all right. Utah does not have very many cars for sale. And well, not very many FDs. None actually on Craigslist. Original minis are like rabbits, Josh. They actually have a lot of space in them. What's up with the 740? Nothing. I drove it yesterday. Just needs an exhaust so it's legal to drive. film it all with Laker. I didn't. There's going to be stuff on his channel. I edited the video with Dante today. That's going to be pretty cool. Brand of wheel one last time. Which ones? Hydras? Those are factory Volvo wheels. Oh, sorry, Dino. D I N O. Like the Ferrari Dino. Here, I'll do this. Boom. What do you think of Top Secret's Long Nose R35? I don't know, I haven't seen it. Let's look. That's pretty cool looking. I know a guy with an R32 GTR that has a veil side wing. It looks okay-ish. Do you like 52 Tarmax? I like them because they kind of look like Hydras. Just without the angle. They're just straight. It's not bad. I wouldn't buy them most likely, but... 
Long nose as in bozo style? Nah, no. I mean, maybe spiritually, but not in execution. Out here in Amish, smoking big doinks in Amish. That's true. Been a BBS but hurt ever since Need for Speed Underground 2. Right on. I like some factory BBS wheels that came on Volkswagens. They're pretty rare though. I've been listening to Whippin' Shitty's tracks on Facebook. They're seriously good, dude. Hell, yeah, thanks, dude. Doint. A doink isn't a thing. It's a doint. We need this to... Hey, he says doinks, though. It's even in the title of the video that he posted. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Let me find this guy's channel. Here's one from him where he put thoinks, T H O I N K S. The title of this video is It's Nice Out Who's Trying to Chill Smoke Some Loud Feel Me I Got Loud. <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. Oh god. Look at my art. That's probably a good one. Yeah, the original video is called Smoking Big Doinks in Amish. SVX is pretty cool. Yo, bro, next payday, I got you that Forza 7, fam. Dude, I'm not going to stop you if you want to buy it. I need to make an Xbox Live account, because I, I don't even begin to know how I could uh, potentially log into my old one. But we'll mm -hmm. see. But yeah. I mean, no pressure. It's your money. Do with it what you will. But if that's your choice... I'm not going to say I don't appreciate the thought. Josh, you're a piece of shit. Here, hold on. Let me just, uh, click this, and we'll put Josh in timeout. Why not take the steering wheel? <laughs> A 
Love the new channel, brother. Which new channel? I don't know what you're talking about. Corner balanced. Oh, he's taking shots again. Peace out, Joe. Josh, how long are you in timeout for when I... Oh, 300 seconds. Alright, that's not bad. I'll have to keep that in mind. Tell Ross I said he's sexy. Will do. What the hell? I don't know why I drank that. <sighs> Old soda. Dope. What are your plans with the Miata? Um. Drive it. Favorite craft beer? Irish Death by Iron Horse Brewery. Justin is still in the army. <laughs> Colorado Kool Aid is most definitely not a craft beer. Damn, that's sad. Peace out, dude. There's a really, really clean 74, 240Z. And it looks like uh, someone, I don't know, got sideswiped or just lost the wheel, maybe. Everyone's tagging the dude from the video where we welded Ross's diff, his RB25. <sighs> Who is that, Josh? Is the R32 a GTR or GTST? It's GTST. But it's going to be faster than a stock GTR here soon. He bought it for nine grand. <laughs> Will Hot Donna be back? Yeah, maybe. Did I almost accidentally grab the old soda again? I did, yes. Show the sick wheel you had in the thumbnail. There you go bought this thing like three months ago hot donna like from that 70s show yes sir there you go the dino steering wheel what color do you guys think i should do it that isn't sparkly purple i'm honestly just thinking like gloss black for the metal parts and then something else But yeah, these wheels are dope. 30, 40 bucks for the low end used ones. I mean, they have some pretty pricey ones, but let me see what we got right now. Here's a wooden one for 100 bucks. That's pretty dope looking, actually. Um, here's one that's pretty much just like mine. Well, it's like exactly identical except it's black, not tan, for 150. Here's an old one that's really weird looking for 35 bucks. 
I'm on eBay. Uh, Italian Dino steering wheel. Yo, someone buy this. I might actually. Look at this. That is fly, dude. Thirteen ninety nine. Eighteen ninety nine to ship it. The weird little thumb spots are kind of stupid, but it's kind of dope looking. Bolts not included. Got an Evola D shape. I'll trade for some stickers. You're on. Hit me with it. Send me an email. CurseForeverHelp at gmail.com. Cross started my brand new shift now today. That is terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, this one's kind of sick looking. 100 bucks. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of boat steering wheels use the same pattern. The same six bolt as like a Momo hub. So like Another Italian brand, Goosey or Gussie, I don't know how to pronounce that. We'll say Gucci just because it's funny. 65 bucks, look at that thing. Put boat steering wheels on your cars, guys. They're dope. You know Grouper Wheel sells brand new wheels for 160 I am aware. But, when you can buy these wheels for, you know, 30 to 50 bucks, if you're just looking for a smaller wheel, that's not going to be a huge pain to throw around. And you just want it now, there you go. This one's from Australia, so shipping would be outlandish, but if anyone in Australia wants a cool one, this one's on eBay right now. Wood grain, chrome spokes. Yeah, people in Idaho do steal grip royal wheels, you're right. I feel like they'd have a little more trouble getting it out of the Volvo, though. I would like to eventually put a nice wheel in there, but not the Dino wheel is not nice. It's just not as nice as it could be. I really like Jake's Momo wheel in the Skyline because that's pretty sweet. Anything deemed nice doesn't belong on that car. That's it, you're in timeout. Get a keys racing wheel and empty your bank account. Hell yeah. Josh, I was going to take you back out of timeout, but I don't think there's actually a way to do that. Nope. Apparently I can double put you in timeout. Hold on, let me see here. Hmm, nope. My bank account is already empty. I'm with you there. What kind of car would Brock like to have? Brock wants DSM cars. He wants a DSM 1G or 2G Eclipse or Talon. He wants old Z cars, BMW 2002. 
He's got similar tastes. Uh, old European cars and Japanese cars. And then DSMs. I don't know how that happened, but like they're kind of cool. So You can make a lot of power for a lot of not a lot of money and uh, actually put the power down on like a Honda. Thoughts on a Honda CRX? Eh. Not bad, but I wouldn't buy one. Where am I finding these deals? It's pretty lame you didn't get a B5. Yeah. I still want one, but paying off my credit cards is a little bit smarter of a move. JDM Honda CRX SI. $13,000. Good God. Brock is not going to university at the moment. He decided to take a year off. Uh, he might be getting a job at a 3D printing place, so which is you know right up his alley because he 3D prints stuff. And they said they'd start him at like 12 bucks an hour if he gets a job, so that's pretty cool. USDM Civic SI or CRX SI. Yeah, eh, not really my thing. <laughs> Minimum wage here in Alberta is 15. That's like about 12 bucks for the US. If you hadn't gotten screwed over with your financial aid situation, do you think you would still be in engineering school? I don't know, actually. As bummed out as I was to leave, I think I kind of came to realize that aerospace engineering wasn't really something I wanted to do. So, I'm not too upset that I'm not going to school anymore, but the revolving debt is pretty upsetting, especially since I have absolutely nothing to show for it. But, uh, yeah, I actually uh, want to tell people I keep forgetting to say things that I mean to say on live streams, but uh, my credit score is actually recovered. Thankfully, paying off the cards uh, saved me pretty good, and on top of that, because I made a big payment, one of them increased my credit limit about 1500 bucks. so my usage is, I hadn't completely paid it off, but my usage is like less than 15% now, so my credit score shot back up I think it's only about six points lower than where it was before it tanked a few days ago so we should be good it should be staying there for a while at least unless Wichita State decides to send me to another debt collection agency again but that's at their discretion we'll see what happens but as of now nothing on my or nothing of my doing is uh, gonna result in it dropping so Looking at eight sixes in Ontario versus Seattle. You guys have a good. Do we? Eleven thousand. Yeah, that's pretty up there, I guess. Not even clean for eleven thousand. Yeah. 
see, like I said. How'd you get into modding Volvos and VWs? Well, I had a friend in high school who had a Volvo 7 or 240, and I always wanted one just because it was rear wheel drive mostly. And I don't know, I like them. I didn't. Them not being super appealing is kind of appealing to me, if that makes any sense. And then I got into Volkswagens because my first car was an 86 Golf. When is the rabbit swap going to start? Whenever I get my hands on uh, Deglazer. What cars do I have? I've got a 90 Miata, 86 Volvo 740, and a 1979 Volkswagen Rabbit 4-door. What are your tattoos? This is the Buck 110 knife from the album cover from uh, Talent of the Hawk by the Front Bottoms. This is the Tour logo and kind of the general modern baseball glasses dog logo. So I, I got the Front Bottoms one because I saw them on their Talent of the Hawk tour. And then when I saw Modern Baseball, they had the dog on the wall behind them. So kind of just a tattoo for seeing a couple of my favorite bands and what generation, if you will, I saw them in. Name some of your most recent favorite bands. Mom Jeans is a really cool band. Um, Foxing, I really like. I've been listening to them a lot more lately. Obviously, still the front bottoms in modern baseball. Choke the Pope, who More Skids DJ got me into. I do know a fair amount of Volkswagen stuff, yeah. Not any air cooled stuff, but like Mark One, Mark Two, and some Mark Three stuff. How about 3K for Rusty Auto 240DL? Yeah, 300 though. I'll be there. How hard is it to find a Mark Two TTI? Not excessively. Um, a 16 valve GTI is pretty hard to find, but Let's see if there's any Mark II's for sale locally. Yep, no Mark III. Pictures sideways. It's kind of cool though. I'm not a big Mark III fan, but here's a VR6 GTI and it's red. 2500 or best offer. That's not too unreasonable. There's not any for sale here right now, but Seattle always has old ones. Um, model year max 1992. <coughs> Here's an 85 GTI, 750 bucks in Linden, Washington. Oh, it's round light. Looks like it got bumped in the front. It's not bad though, and just like every other Volkswagen, it's primer gray. 
79 Rabbit or Miata? Miata didn't exist in 79. But the Rabbit. Wow, this guy wants 10 grand for a Mark II. What? It's an 8 valve. He's asking $10,000 and has 402,000 miles on it. Hold on. TT272 camshaft, Raceland, SS header, Weisco Pistons, 9.5 to 1. Like, all this is cool, but it's on Racelands and has a $300 cam and a $200 engine. It's not worth anywhere near 10 grand. I'm going to post this in my Volkswagen people group. If you can buy a non-destroyed manual Volvo for a decent price in Ontario, I'll buy a second shift knob from you. Ontario, Oregon? Ross got one of them in uh, oh, Ontario, Canada. I got you. Are you still filling a two liter with dimes? Yeah, dude. There you go. It's been going pretty rapidly since I started getting cash tips with my job. I also have this one because I've been saving quarters and stuff and then every day for like change at work they give me a dollar and quarters for giving people change and I never use it. So no one ever wants quarters. So I just yesterday had like 12 or 13 bucks worth of quarters just sitting on my computer desk. So I threw them in with my pennies and nickels and this one's going to be worth quite a bit more, I think, when it's full. I don't know, though. Allegedly, if I fill a 2-liter bottle with dimes, it's like 700 bucks. What happened to Brennan's rabbit? Still in his girlfriend's garage. Where's the rabbit? My rabbit is in my garage. still collect license plates I do I have a stack of them out in the garage I have some in here they're all Idaho ones so did you get the old VW caddy in the golf country in the US we did get the caddy we did not get the golf country though I want to get a golf country and put it on regular suspension or even like slam it a little bit and then have an all-wheel drive mark II without having to pay for a rally Yo, here you go, dude. Toronto area, it's even a turbo manual, which is really, really rare to find a manual one that is also turbo. And it's got the uh, Nova 15 inch wheels, which are also really rare. 2500 bucks. That is a really good deal, actually. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. Unless he wants 25,000, but I'm assuming it's 2,500. But yeah, that is a cool car. There you go, 740 Turbo, manual, clean train or clean title. Nova 15s. Damn. Maybe I need to go to Ontario. That'd be like less than two grand US. Hi from Australia. What's up, man? What happened to Steve? Still in Roster's garage, doing nothing. People keep asking for videos on it, but like, there's nothing we can do to it. Looking to buy an old Volvo 940 Turbo for up to a thousand, depending on condition, preferably manual. Well, good luck. You're not gonna find a manual one in North America. <laughs> What's up with the dimes? I'm putting them in a 2 liter bottle because allegedly if you fill a 2 liter bottle with dimes, uh, it's 700 bucks. P2 
Peace out, Brayden. Gotta study thermal fluids. Oh, God. Good luck. Alright, guys. We've been streaming for a good while, so I think I'm probably going to wind it down. Is there anything you want me to send to Steve? I have lots of old Subaru lights, spoilers, scoops. I mean, nothing in particular off the top of my head, but if there's something you feel like sending, P.O. Box is in the description of every video. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to bring this live stream to an end. Hope you guys had a good time. I'll be posting a video tomorrow that I think a lot of people are going to be pretty excited about. Make sure to check that out at noon Mountain Time. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.